Welcome back. I'm Jay. We've got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show. Today we're going over your pictures. We are covered up. Pink's where it's at. We're just trying to play it safe because you never know what you have going on inside of you. That is exactly correct, Steve. Mm -hmm. Let's get right into this one. I know you what, what do we got, like 10 or 12 yeah, photos yeah, that we're going to do yeah, today. So yeah. this is, uh, to go over this real quick, if you're new, welcome. We will be talking about other people's helmets. People who send in photographs of their helmets to us. I critique the helmet and tell you kind of what things you could do better to kind of take it up a notch. Mm -hmm. Steve critiques the photograph to tell you what you might be able to do better. Email the best photos you can of your helmets to pics at greengridiron.com. Give us a little while. We missed a couple of weeks because it's been crazy, but we have many, many episodes still coming at you. So keep your pictures coming. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. First up is... Anthony. This is something, this is obviously the Speedflex, this is the FF, the SF2BDC-TX face mask. It's the, I guess you could call this the, the closest thing to a big grill. We actually market this as a big grill face mask that you can legally wear on the field currently. And he's done a couple of different modifications here. So he's got the ratchet strap. So this is helmet that's a couple of years old because now they come with a cam lock system. He's gone and put a white buckle up top, so he basically did the strap lock delete. Put that white buckle on there. He's got the can what appears to be a Kansas City Chiefs decal on the side. Looks a little thin because there's some creases in that decal, but really yeah. can't tell. Um, but made you know the white on the face mask really stands out. Maybe go with like the red and white uh, Under Armour clips yeah. on the sides, or maybe a red pair or a white pair. That would look kind of cool. I don't think I would really change much else. Yeah, I'd like to see the back of it, but... I'm going, Steve, 7.2 out of the gate All right. this guy. Next time, just make nice. the pictures a little brighter would be cool, but aside from that, I like what you did. Nice job, Anthony. All right, next up is Jordan. Jordan made it easy for me. He made a nice little compilation. This looks great, and we've got a Shock 1.0 visor. Uh, we've got the OBJ face mask. This is the CUS 2 bdsw uh, But it, it looks even better with that Shock 1.0 visor. You got him about to catch the ball here in this bottom left shot. That's nice. What I want to see, though, the Heisman. We still haven't seen anybody give us the Heisman well, pose. Well, somebody just give him the damn yeah. Heisman pose. I know. Right? I, I, I mean, keep asking about it all the time. You have. So on this guy here, he's also got a Sports Star tin strap, which looks nice. Uh, to me, this is all about the face mask and the visor, but I do love to see the reflection of the clouds in the helmet. Yeah, and I like how he put the clips, what some people would consider to be upside down. They are reversible, and he yeah. did it so it lines up right. It's a good look, and thanks for sending pictures of you wearing it. Um, these look nice. They uh, look really good. Yeah, I'm going I'm to go with uh, 7.5. All right. Which is a pretty damn high score for We're, such a basic Yeah, it is. You're basic right. helmet. Nice work. Really looks good. Next up is John H. Check check this out. All right, Johnny. I think I know John has sent in some stuff before, right? I mean we got a lot of Johns. And I think I think that this that, that W has gotta be the Wizards, right? You got me. I genuinely do not the know. Warlocks? War, probably not the Warlocks. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe? Warriors? Warriors? Could be. I don't know. Yeah. We, there's nothing, there was no there, write there's up. nothing else except no. for from John. It's got like uh, the Chargers on the one side, the Bolt, but not quite. Yeah, so so what this has going for us, so we have a different a couple of different helmets here, right? So we've got the Shut, um, it appears to be a Shut Vengeance helmet, and then we've got a Riddell Speed helmet. The, the face mask on the Speed is fairly similar to the one that we just looked mm. at, that OBJ style, it just has more bars on it. This is the S2BDC uh, version of it. Not as sexy looking of a face mask in my opinion, no. but still very similar. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go with a 7.4 on okay. this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We got a nice steady, even keel kind of show going yeah. today. All right, next up is Andrew. He says, with good green gridiron, I've been subscribing to your channel, and I love what you guys do, especially for us helmet collectors. Keep it going. Uh, here's some pics of what he's done, and uh, check it out. He's got a couple of different teams and helmets. Mm. New York Giants. This looks like a... I mean, this is, this is a really nice collectible. It's got OBJ signature on here. It's got the OBJ face mask on there. Uh, we've got the numbers that he put on there. Everything about this is a little bit upgraded. He's got the white 
buckle on the top and the stainless steel buckle on the bottom of the chin straps where those go on. The uh, white warning label is on there. The San Francisco 49ers helmet looks great. Really uh, we've got a custom chin strap, same thing with the Chargers helmets. It's got the Ropo DW face mask on here. Looks like an Adams chin strap on both of those as well. You got the custom clips. You got black screws on that one. Yeah. Got a lot of little pieces on all of these. Obviously, my favorite of the bunch yeah. is the OBJ. Yeah. Really so overall, good. again, this is going to be an average score of the three, Steve. Um, and I'm grading this based on what they are. I'm going to go with an 8.6. Okay. Fair enough. If it was yeah. just a Giants one, I think it would have been like a yeah. nine something. Yeah. We'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. All right. Next up is Braden. Is this all the same helmets? I think so. So Auburn on one side and a big, what appears to be a Syracuse S on the other side. That's interesting. And you see the stripe. But it is, is different yeah, too. Yeah. So this is kind of a half and half. That's. I think that's what it is. Yeah, interesting. I see. I see what's going on now. It took me a minute. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, and I don't. <laughs> I don't know who this, who this would be a half and half for. Maybe that S is actually a high school, and it looks like on the visor side we've got uh, what appears to be. I don't know what kind of visor that, that is. It's not an Under Armour visor. No. Even though it has some Under Armour decals on there. It's got an insert in there. And, you know, Auburn is an Under Armour school. It doesn't look like a Nike visor either. I think it might be maybe one of the generics, but then with a, a shock insert on the inside. Overall, this is pretty, I think this whole thing is pretty cool. I don't really know I'll tell you, I'm enough sorry. about it to really kind of get into the details, though. Well, he put the, the Under Armour decal on the visor only on the Auburn mm -hmm. side. Same thing with the clips. Uh, so, I mean, like, this is right. This clearly is very intentional. Just for that fact alone, those little details that look kind of slid past me at first, I, I think that that's awesome. I think taking the photos outside, yep. it looks like a nice cloudy day was smart. Um, yeah, let us know, leave comments if you're watching this, Braden. Tell us more about this. Helmet. Yeah, very curious to, to know more about, more about the details without knowing, I, I, I don't even know where to go. Yeah. But we can tell that it all means something. Right, exactly. And that's that, that the important thing. That's all that matters. So I'm going to go, uh, I know the, obviously a lot of work was put into this guy, even though we don't know what it was for. Yeah. I'm going to say, Steve, 8.3. Okay. I think that that's fair because you're kind of making an educated guess. Sure. <laughs> sure. I'm guessing that it's all for good reasons. Right. All right, next up is Jeremy. Very, very good pictures here. So, Steve, what do you feel, or how do you feel about people who are taking photographs on train tracks? Some people might think it's, you know, it's kind of pushing it or it's overdone. I think it's always good. I like yeah. trains. I, I think it's cool. It shows, like, to me, the one with the train coming in in the background, it kind of looks as tough as the train does. Well... I, I agree completely. Look at the texture in that paint. This almost looks like um, textured paint. Yeah, like that hammer paint. I bet you it is. And then this is this like a Jackson Pollock esque? Maybe. That's an art, man. You can screw that up real quick. Well, well this looks like a pretty even. It does. Kind of like it was raining almost. Yeah. And look at the size of that Broncos decal. Teeny tiny. That's fascinating. It's an interesting, um, interesting size and an interesting place to put it. I think if done right, a team could get away with that. You know how the, um, the, the Los Angeles Chargers, they've got the bolt and they put the numbers under yeah. the bolt? Like I could see something like that, a small logo up top and then numbers or something you know, of that nature, kind of just lower, maybe even a little bit smaller than normal on the sides. I actually don't mind this small decal. I mean, it's- No, I don't mind it either. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying. Different. The placement was smart. I'm yeah. going to go with a 7.8. I couldn't agree more. I like your color choices, too. Next up is Chris B. So Chris B looks to have all kinds of custom decals and work done in here. So this looks like a decal on the visor or inside the visor, one of the two, and probably printed these at home, I'm guessing. 
Probably. Cut, and then cut them to fit? I, I don't. Think so. I, I don't know uh, for sure. I don't think you would be able to see through that visor, but it looks great on a shelf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's very different. Yeah. I'm not usually a fan of digital camo, but it kind of works here. And I love the fact that it's consistent throughout the back bumper, the flag, the eagle, the visor. It's all at least yep. it, it matches. All, it all gets tied together, and I think it. I think it gets tied together in the way that it should. Um, I too am not a big camo or digital camo right. guy. Uh, most of the time, I like that all five branches are being represented. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's I, cool. I'm gonna go, Steve, with this one. You know, this is this is no slouch for the amount of work that went into it. Right. Uh, I'm gonna go with an 8.1. Nice, good work, Chris. I like that. Yeah. You know, but how to get a better score on that one? I guess just choose a different team, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Eagles. Come on, man. All right, next up is Colby. He wrote a little something and said, had an opportunity to be an equipment intern with the Buccaneers this summer. Nice. It was amazing. I got to uh, play catch with Tom Brady, worked on helmets, so jerseys, and he was humble and grateful. Uh, once he got back, he was so fired up, he decided to make his own Bucs helmet. So, wow. Yeah, so here you go. Okay, so he's basically created a little bit of a paint booth here. You see that filter. You see the way that it's being hung. This is uh, not just a, a, a can of spray paint. There's, there's his evidence of Tom Brady. Where's Tom's mask? <laughs> yeah, right? What's up with that? So we got a Shock 1.0 visor and what looks like the new Bucks helmet. And we got a 3D bumper on there. We've got the unbranded clips. We actually just sent down a couple hundred of those um, gloss black clips to the Bucks. And overall, Steve, it looks great. It really, really The does. color, I don't know, but the color might be a little bit off. It looks a little dark. I think the color on all of his stuff it's is just contrasty, right? Because the oranges and stuff are super bright red. I, I, so mm -hmm. I'm imagining it's just too contrasty, maybe a little too saturated. And, and in order to get the paint to the next level, you got to go to a professional. Yeah. Or be a professional. One of the one of or one, one of the, of the one two. Of the two. Yeah. All right. Next up and last of the day is Kyle. All right, Kyle. Interesting. Yeah. It's cool looking, the blue and white. I mean, it's always just a, such a classic look. I gotta say, I gotta say, I would almost, it looks like we've got two different color chrome blues. One color blue in the stripes, another color blue on the side decals. That may not be the case because the, the light can really change yes. the, the darkness or the, the lightness, I guess, yes. of how these things look. But we've also got blue in the Nike tabs, and we've got blue in the chin strap and chin cup on the chin strap, and we've got blue in that 3D bumper. Those are a lot of different blues. I don't know if any one of those blues matches another blue. Uh, you're right. Exactly. And, and you see in that stripe, Steve, there's a pattern in there, too. Um, overall, this, though, this is a, even still, this is still a pretty clean look. It's nice. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Steve, I'm going to go with 7.5 on this guy. Okay. Yeah, All right, to, cool. To close it out from Kyle. Kyle, we really appreciate you sending this in. We appreciate everybody sending your photos in. Yeah. I know Steve was telling me earlier, he's got hundreds of photos that haven't made it to one of the shows yet. Yeah. So keep sending your photos in, PICS at greengridiron.com. Steve and the the Steve's team yes. will be going through those photos. That's it, man. Like you said, just send in your pictures to pics at greengridiron.com. Get ready to watch some football. It's happening. Yeah, fingers crossed we don't get too many more canceled games, though. But yeah. uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.